Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sam. Thanks for joining. If you haven't been here before, well then thanks for clicking on this video. I have a lot of energy today, but I also don't. It's like a weird combination. I'm adjusting you guys, sorry. I have a lot of energy today. It's like a weird combination, but I don't at the same time. I was up late last night. I had people over for a football game for my fiance. And I'm kind of tired, but anyway, let's just hop into today's video. I'm just gonna play with makeup that I is new to me. I do these videos every so often. And I'm just going to kind of play around with makeup that I've had chilling here that it's never, I've never touched, never used. Got it from BoxyCharm or I bought it or wherever someone gifted it to me, something. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be playing with today. If you guys want to see the look that I create with all this new makeup on my face and how it turns out, then uh, keep on watching. Let's go. All right. So um, first things first, I'm going to hop into my brows real quick. I'm gonna do them, um, I'll either speed through it or just like cut through it. I'm not sure if you guys wanna see it ever. If you guys ever wanna see me do my brows, just say the word. Let a hoe know, you know? Um, uh, right now I am going to fill them. I did slightly over cut them. I trimmed them today and I was like in a very fast, speedy mood, not mood. I was in a rush to do it and I over trimmed on one brow. Um, but you know, it's fine. We'll get through it. Anyway. By the way, I'm using this little precisely my brow sample size or mini size in the shade three. All right, just real quick. I'm going to cut these brows out. Um, I don't always do this, but I'm just kind of feeling froggy and I have, oh, that's wrong. That's not what I was reaching for. I have this new concealer I want to try and I'm going to try it under my eyes as well and like normal concealing places, but I'm also going to try it as to like carve out my brows. It's the Sephora Collection Clear and Cover Acne Treatment Cream Concealer with 2% salicylic acid. Um, the salicylic acid kind of just is what intrigued me on this when I got it. Um, clears acne blemishes help prevent new acne blemishes. Don't just hide your acne blemishes, treat them. A dual usage spot concealer instantly covers while clearing up current acne blemishes and prevent new ones. Okay, so this is probably usually used as a spot concealer, but it's the only new concealer I have right now, so we're gonna use it as a full blown concealer. Plus, it comes out like in a doe foot, so we're gonna do it because why not? Oh, it might be too dark for me. Oh yeah, this will definitely be a spot concealer and not a brightening concealer. I'm gonna have to pull out another concealer for brightening. But anyway, I'm just going right over where I wanna carve out my brows. I don't know how much room I have to work, or time I have to work with this, so we're gonna hope for the best. Um, I'm kinda excited that it's a little bit too dark for me for like a concealer shade because anytime I spot conceal, I have all my, all my concealers are like brighter and <laughs> they kinda accent uh, when I try to spot conceal with them, they kind of accent the, the pimple or the blemish or whatever. Um, so this will be nice to try as a spot concealer today. So I'm not real mad at it. All right, we're done. I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't wet a sponge though, so <laughs> let me go get my life together. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. If that dried down in that amount of time, I can't even be mad at it because I took too long singing to my dog. That's okay. I had to stop and sing to my dog. But it's still blending out good, so we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I usually do a brighter shade for this, but you know, that's okay. That is Ayukai Blame. Alright. She's chiseled. She's sharp. She's everything you're not. Okay. 
And like I said, I'll fluff them up at the end, but we don't want to do that now because stuff will be all over it and won't be cute for nobody. <laughs> okay. We're going to go into eyeshadow. The only eyeshadow palette I have that's new to me. Well, not, it's not new, but it's new to me. Like I've had it in my collection. I just never used it. I think I've swatched it. That's it. It's the Illuminati X ISA designed by Isabel Bedoya. This is it. This is it here. And uh, we're going to hope it goes with today's outfit because this is what I'm wearing. So I'm going to my Christmas party for work. Yes, I said Christmas party. We're having it in January. January 11th to be precise. But you know what? It's fine. I'm actually using a new brush that's new to me as well. This is the Taper Blending LR120 by LaRouche. Oh, I need to prime my... What are these things? I need to prime these. Mm -hmm. These things right here. Lids, eyelids. <laughs> okay. I'm going in with my Acid Rain P. Louise base right here. Uh, blank canvas is what it's called. And I'm dabbing it on my sponge. And we're gonna apply it like so. Like so, like that. A lot so, like that. Yo, I haven't done it. Um, 2021 favorites yet and I'm not sure if I should or not should I if anybody out there wants to comment let me know even if one person comments and says yeah we want to see your favorites I'll do it maybe I'll do it still I don't know I know it's late in the game but like I'm late to everything so that's fine all right I'm gonna be late to my own wedding that's hard facts hard facts all right, <laughs> now that we have that on, we're gonna go into trust. And we're gonna trust that it works. This one right here. Trust, baby, you gotta trust it, okay? Hope you guys can see. I never know if you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're just gonna floof this all over the side and we're gonna bring it out way further than it needs to be because we're gonna clean that up because this is how I live my life. This is the way I live. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It's a pretty color, actually. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of vibing with it. I'm going to bring it all the way over. I, wasn't, I didn't think I was going to do that, but here we are. I never know what I'm doing. Most people just kind of envision a look. They see colors like, oh. I just kind of put a color on my eyelid and then go, hmm, what would I like next? I'm bringing this all the way over, like, on purpose. Like, in the socket of my eye, if you will. In the socket of my eye, if you will. Okay. There we have it. Um, I'm gonna do one eye on camera, one eye off camera. So there's that. Um, I think I'm gonna switch the brush out. I just farted. In case anybody wanted to know. Switching the brush out. <laughs> we're gonna go into this wet and wild brush and we're gonna go into purple haze. Purple haze, purple haze. It's purple rain though, but you know, whatever, it's fine. And we're gonna just um, haze this over this general area here. Wind chill wiper motions. This is very kick up kick up kick up kick up Um, But I'm okay with that. That literally doesn't bother me in the slightest, unless like the shadow falls out or something. We're just doing that. I'm kind of feeling the dusty tones of my shirt and the dusty tones of this purple. Um, not the same color, but like in the same family to me. Anyway, so we just kind of dusted that all over. Okay. Okay. And then hear me out. Oh, this Izzy shade is everything. But it's not what I want on my eyes right now. I just had to show you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, the shade that I'm is calling to me is this Purple Dream. Can y'all see that? These shades are so hit or miss though. Like they get on the finger, gorgeous, right? Amazing, beautiful, delicious. And then you get them on your eyes and they're crap. So let's find out. Probably need to turn y'all up. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, that's it with my finger. It's very pretty, but... I want to test it on a flat brush with some setting spray. 
new brush to me as well. That same La Roche, um, what's it called? Brand? <laughs> uh, this is the LR100 concealer brush. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna dig in. Oh man, whoops. Don't literally dig into it like I did. <laughs> we're gonna fritz her doodle her. And we're gonna see what happens now. All right, no, that's not it. That ain't doing it for me. It comes out too chunky that way. So we're going back into the finger with a wet eyelid. Okay. I bet you with a glitter glue down, this would be amazing. It's already pretty, but like, because it's my lid's wet from brush from that brush, um, this went on more vibrant. More vibrant. All right. And then we're just gonna blender edges here and that's where we're at and I'm kind of is it weird that I just kind of want to leave it here I'm kind of into it I'm taking that first brush we used and I'm just kind of bringing this up a little bit higher right here and that's where we're at I kind of love that so I'm gonna wipe up this what's this called you know I can never get my words figured out. Is there anybody else in this world that just like literally doesn't know how to speak every single day? Because it's the same. Um, I'm gonna wipe this up right here like this. Like so, like that. Yeah. And we're gonna give her a little cat eye. <laughs> Cute, right? Okay. Um, and then if there's any fallout here, I just kind of wipe it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this other eye and then I'll be in a rant. <laughs> I'm back. Hello. I am back. Hello, I am back. Here's where the top of the eyelids are. All right, I'm going into some primer all over, all over the desk. All, I'm going with some primer all over the desk. Tight. Okay, cool. Okay, um, I'm using the professional No Problem Primer, No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul, not professional, whatever you know. And we're gonna rub that all over. Is safe very aggressively this is not new to me this is just uh what i'm using i'll announce everything that is genuinely new to me which so far is that concealer and eyeshadow palette oh yeah oh yeah okay we're gonna go into this foundation, refillable foundation plus blender in a forever case by Tristique Foundation Stick. This is it here. It's in the shade two, no, 104B, uh, you know, let's pull it out. Let's see what happens here. This might be too light for me, so I might have to switch this up too or mix it with something else. Um, it doesn't, does it say the shade? Cape Cod Stone, I guess that's the shade. This looks really yellow and really light. Maybe. I don't know. Let's give it a whirl. I already primed, so, uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm literally just putting this all over my face. I don't use very many stick concealer or sealers. Stick, uh, what's it called? Foundations. And by many, I mean, like, literally none. Probably. Maybe once in a blue moon. I don't even know if I have one, to be honest. This might be my only stick one at the moment. I may have overdone it. I may have slightly overcommitted. I took nine. I took nine. Okay, here we are. We're gonna pounce around. Actually, the shade, once I warm it up with bronzers and stuff, might not be the worst shade in the world. Now we pounce until we bruise our face. So far, it's blending out really well. Oh, her so good. Do y'all ever see how light a shade is and you're like, there's no way that's gonna look good on me. Um, hear me out. I think this matches me literally perfectly. <laughs> oh, I'm so pale. I need to work on that. That's okay. 
Um, I can't spot conceal now with that concealer because it's gonna be way too dark for this. It'll show up. So, um, I need to self tan. So this is just a reminder, use your self tanner, guys. I'm just kidding. Your pale skin is beautiful too. Just like mine, but you know, it's winter time. I can be as pale as I wanna be. Um, I'm gonna go into the, um, this is not new, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Um, we're gonna hope this doesn't ruin anything. Um, it might. Um, but I needed a little bit more coverage in some areas. I love light, lighter coverage foundations. So I wouldn't say that was a very full coverage. I would say, um, what is it claiming to be? Let me look here. Let me look. Um, innovative zero waste system made from recycled materials, clean, sustainable beauty, better for you and planet. A luxurious cream foundation stick that glides on the skin for a light breathable feel infused with a powerful carrot complex for natural blue light protection. Also formulated with an effective blend of hyaluronic acid uh, known to boost collagen, hydration, and minimize fine lines. Comes with refillable foundation and built-in blender you can wash or replace. So that's pretty cool. Sustainable packaging. We love it. We're here for it. Um, anyway, uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, so it's a light, breathable feel. And I would definitely agree with that. 100%. But um, I didn't bring it all up to my, under, my, under my eyes because I suffer from a lot of fine lines and wrinkles under there and texture. And just textured skin in general so the more we cake the more it's very noticeable and that's enough for me dog so uh yeah we're going in with my normal concealer like i said because the other one's just too dark and that's okay that is okay i would say it's very breathable um not very tacky kind of dries down a little bit but i'm i am gonna set it though because i'm your ass is oily this your ass your ass is oily your bitch is oily. Okay, so we're going to set it down with the Stay Matte Rimmel. What's this called? Powder. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Before anything crazy happens. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and hear me out. Do y'all see that match, man? I wonder if it shows up on camera. This match is like... This foundation might be the... I mean, it doesn't look like it in the bottle, but like, or like the color on the bottle. This is like a perfect fucking match for me. That's fucking depressing. I drink coffee, it'll make me feel better. Okay, so here's where we are. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, oh man. I have this Primrose um, Plus Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. And I wanted to put this on before I powdered my face um, because it's cream. But I guess now we can test to see if it, um, what's it called? Works over powder or not. Although that's not a very heavy powder, so maybe it'll still be all right. And not fuck up my whole base and me have to start over because I can't be going out in public with face to face. Um, this is it here, super cute. Um, Lip and Cheek Cream Palette by Seraphine Botanicals. I got this in a boxy charm, never heard of it. Oh. I don't know, actually. This might be... Y'all, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use this on my blender. Oh, I don't know which color. I think I'm gonna go in the middle one. And then we're gonna, like, dab it off in the back of my hand. That's up there. And then we're gonna go in. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Don't panic, don't panic. I'm panicking, I'm a little, I'm, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Okay, panic. Consider me panicked. It's very pigmented, y'all go. Oh my God, I look like I'm sunburnt. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna bring it up over the nose. I'm officially sunburnt. Okay, like, the camera's picking up really heavy. In person, it's not, like, the worst. We're gonna go, boop. In the day, though, I have to make a match at least a little bit, right? And then I'm gonna see if I can save it. 
So y'all just bear with me. Don't click out of the video yet. I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not like a professional by no means, but I sort of know what I'm doing. Okay, once we got it all blended out, it's actually really pretty and somehow I got glitter on my face. Oh, I put it across where I swatched that glitter. Damn it. I gotta get some of this glitter off my face. I'm an idiot. I swear I know what I'm doing. What do I do? Well, it's fine. I'm basically a unicorn anyway, and I have glitter coming out of my pores, so there's that. Um, it's pretty and not lifting up the foundation. It's just that fucking glitter hate it here okay um i got creasing happening under the eyes which is really weird i don't think i set it down very well so now that i have that powder on or that powder that uh what's it called cream on i'm gonna lightly powder with uh loose powder under my eyes just like it And then we're going to take her, and maybe this will help sweep away some of that glitter that got fucking wild on my face. And tone down some of that. This is the, um, VK. Well, what's this called? VK. What the hell is this called? Everyday VK by uh, Coconut Setting. Everyday VK Coconut Setting Powder by Ciate London. And we're going to set her down more. And I'm going to look back at the mirror here in a second. and see how things are looking now that I put a loose powder on my face. The only thing about like testing makeup when you have to be somewhere is like it has to work or you have to start over, you know? Okay, that glitter is very minimal now, so that's tight. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And everything else is sitting pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. All right, um, we're gonna hop into some spray at the moment. I like to do this um, throughout my makeup application. See how much that blush is toned down? It looks good. I like it. Okay. Now we're gonna go into some contour. All right, I can't have anything else go awry, so I'm going to use something I know and love. This is the Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension Face Palette. If you don't own this, um, do yourself a favor and get it. They offer afterpay or shop pay or whatever it's called. This is literally my favorite powder at the moment. The moment. Um, what brush do I want to use? Okay. Okay, we're going to go into um, Bronze Sky out of this here. And we're just going to put this right here. My skin, I've had definitely had better skin days, but again, we're testing everything. We gotta play with things. We gotta try different ways of using this stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna hop into some highlighter. Um, I don't know, do I want a gold highlighter or do I want a fun pop of color? No, we're gonna do gold. Not gold, we're gonna do like a rosy gold. Pinky rosy gold. This, sorry, you guys can't use this unless you own it already. This is a very old palette. Um, it's by Becca Cosmetics, RIP, and uh, Jaclyn Hill. Um, one of her first collaborations, if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, I'm going into this one that's on its last leg, and I'm very sad. I'm very sad. Anyway, and we're going to pop that right here. Sorry, y'all didn't know this wouldn't be a video unless fiance uh, 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 didn't interrupt me. Ooh. 
I'm sorry, but this hands down is probably my favorite highlighter I've ever used in my entire life. And it's very sad that I use it on camera, but I can't just sit here and waste products. And I don't wear makeup every day. So when I'm doing makeup, I'm usually making a video out of it. So I'm gonna use it. I'm sorry, and I love it. I love that. I'm very sad. I need to see if they make this in like, well they, Becca Cosmetics is I think gone by now. God. Every time I do my makeup, there's a hair like around my nose. Every single time. All right, then we're gonna take this same highlighter and just incorporate it into the look. We're gonna put it up there. Then we're gonna put it up there. I was gonna do like iridescent highlighter, but I figured, you know, there's a lot of iridescence going on in my eyes right now, or you can never have enough. And I will just, you know, not. Anyway, so we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna into corner, into, into corner. Right, make sure it's just on my nose, just good enough. And on my cupid's bow. Oh, there we have it, okay. Uh, oh, motherfucker. The main thing I wanted to try in this video. I am the worst. Ugh. I'm very upset right now. It's literally sitting in front of me. We're still going to use it because fuck it. I've been wanting to try this Ofra palette. This is my first time having Ofra. And I wanted to use this highlighter. Oh, that might be too dark for me anyway. I don't know. Let me put it on a brush and see how it like applies to my skin. On oh, a brush. A brush. Fuck it. Let's add more. I'm so upset right now. Oh. Well, y'all. I'm very upset. I'm going to have to use this in another video. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. Okay. So new, we're going to rename this video face a whole or video of using makeup. I never used in three products on me. I'm just kidding. I used what I use so far. The eyeshadow palette, the blush, the concealer, um, the foundation. Okay. We're still doing all right. And I still have mascara that I'm going to try. So we're going to hop it. Oh, no, I lied. Let me do my um underneath my always real quick. I do that. I'm going to hop into trust. I take that all the way across the bottom lid. And then I'm going to take that same brush. And we're going to hop into purple haze. And layer that right over top. And I think I'm going to leave it there. All right, now we're going to hop into that mascara. Um, this is the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. This is it here. I got it in a boxy charm. It's in the shade Black. If you guys have been on my channel, you know I'm in the process of finding a mascara that works for me. It might really ask lids. It might work great on my lashes, like in the initial, like, try on or whatever and then halfway through the day I look like a Dalmatian on my eyelids because it just transfers like crazy so most mascaras that everyone knows and loves just does not last on me so we're gonna try this one um let's see what the claims are let's give it a whirl what's it say powered by magnetic technology whatever that means um, this age-defying mascara formula contains a revolutionary positively charged matrix that attracts to each individual lash to strengthen, thicken, lengthen, and separate for unparalleled performance. Wait, it'll help, it'll help thicken my lashes? It's vegan-friendly, gluten-free. It's got the bunny on it. That would be cool if it helps thicken my lashes. Um, this is the brush here. Love it. I love these kind of brushes. Let's see. All right, right off the bat, I love that it's not a super wet formula. I hate wet formulas. This is really pretty on my lower lashes. I like. Okay, we're gonna dunk it again, cause I'm psycho.
just one coat. I have naturally pretty long lashes, so I'm not getting a huge lift like I want. But it is definitely coating them. Like, when I look straight on the camera, I'm used to, like, seeing my lashes like this. And they're not going up there. And if you're like, curl your lashes, I don't curl my lashes. It's how I have naturally long lashes. I don't put nothing on them. I tent them and I uh, lift them when I want to. But I don't, like, perm them, you know? But I don't do extensions or I hardly ever use lash strips. And I definitely don't use lash curlers. Um, I'm an esthetician, if you guys don't know, and one of my main services is lash lift and tent service. And I always see breakage on people, and I'm like, do you use a lash curler? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, stop using a lash curler. And then they do, and they come back to me, and they have nice full lashes. I'm like, stop using lash curler. I'm telling you, it'll make a difference. Alright. So there's where we're at. Naturally, I get that shit all over the place, even though it's not that hard of a formula. It's just who I am as a person. Uh, we're going to take a Q-tip and we're just going to... So, not my favorite mascara in the world. But... I will get through a mascara not lifting my lashes completely like how I want them if they don't transfer everywhere. So, I'm just taking this other spoolie that I was using on my brows. I'm just kind of... I don't like the clumpy look. I'm trying to fan them out a little bit more. All right, so that's what we have. That is what we have. That is it all there. I feel like I could use more bronzer. So you know what? I am going to go into this palette. I am. I'm going to do it. And you can't stop me. Now I just need to figure out which one to go in because I'm going to go into this lower little corner here. There's so much happening in this palette. It's hard to tell. It's hard to like get into the shade I want. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's where we're at. That is where we all at. Wish my hair would just like, I mean, this isn't like the worst it's ever dried, but like, oh, I want to be able to, oh, babe's home. I want to be able to not have to do anything to it. And I guess, hear me out, this doesn't look terrible, but whatever. Anyway, I don't have, the only thing I have for lips is this Trick and Treat Lip Balm Berry Balm with Natural Tint. And it's like a berry. So uh, I don't know. Let's put this on here. Mm, let's try it. I can take it off if I don't like it. I'm going to be eating at this party. So the lip tent probably is a better way to go. <sighs> my dogs never shut up. Lip tent's probably the better way to go. Sorry if I was talking over my dogs the whole time. I kind of just drown them out and don't even realize it. Feels very silicone-y going on. Not in a bad way though. This is hay honey, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys that. Alright, I'm kind of into it. Look how purple that is. So that was gonna be like real purple, but it is just a tint. I'm kind of into it. Alright, um, final steps. Alright y'all, this is the final look. I have not done my hair yet. Um, I'm deciding if I'm just going to put it up like this for the party or down or if I'm going to straighten it. I don't really know. Try not to use too much heat on it. I can't decide. Alright, whatever. This is just going to be it for now. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and have a fantastic rest of your day and I will update you in the description box how this all wore, meaning the foundation, for the most part, is what I would be looking at. Oh yeah, y'all, I didn't fluff up my brows. I knew something looked off. Real quick. This is my Anastasia brow gel. And we're just gonna floof these bottom boys and best I can. Oh. 
All right, now we're done. This is the final look. Thanks for joining. Make sure you hashtag subscribe. <laughs> um, it's free, so make sure you do that. It's down there. It could be over there. There's a little square. Click it, subscribe, it's free, and I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't see you, but you'll see me. Okay, bye guys.